Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the tools that I use on a regular basis uh, for content creation to help me organize myself and to produce the content that I put out for my online brand. This is something that if you're just starting out, you might find some tools on here to be useful. In some cases, I do have paid alternatives to these that I personally use, but I don't need to use those because these free tools are absolutely fine for that. So I think they should be useful to you as well. If you're someone that's either just starting out creating content or you are a seasoned content creator and you're just looking to simplify and use some of the tools that are available to you already for free without having to spend extra money or deal with extra options in some of the paid uh, versions of these. So the first set of uh, tools that I'm going to talk about here are all from Google. They are Google Apps. Um, now, if you have a Google account, you'll have access to a whole suite of um, apps that allows you to do various things from word processing to spreadsheets to um, presentations, uh, you name it. So the ones that I particularly want to focus on, first of all, we've got Google Drive. Now, Google Drive allows you to have 15 gigs free storage online. So this is cloud storage that you can use for whatever you want. So how I use it is I use it for common files that I want to access all the time, such as images or graphics that I've done, or even some other files that I want to be able to have a look at either on my phone or on my desktop and have everything synced together. Google Drive um, has their app for pretty much all the major platforms out there. So if you're on a mobile you, and you're using iOS or Android, you'll have access to that. Um, also, it's on Mac and Windows. Um, besides, if you don't want to use the app itself, you can log into your Google account online inside any browser and still have access to those same files. So I recommend it to anyone that's looking to get some free storage, cloud storage that is. Um, it's one of the more generous offerings uh, for free at 15 gigs compared to some of its rivals. Now, the next one that I'm gonna talk about is really a very important one to me because I use it um, a lot of the times to do things that I would normally have to use paid um, software to do. I do have paid software that I can do the, the same things in. However, I choose to use this particular app simply because it um, is simpler to use in some cases and it doesn't have the distractions of all the other options that comes with a paid um, app to do the task that I'm trying to accomplish. So this is Google's presentation app that you can use to do something like a keynote or a PowerPoint presentation on their cloud um, system. So you can create your slides and um, do a regular presentation. But one of the key things that I use it for, and um, I've only recently discovered this option, and this is to do uh, design work. So I use it to create documents for download, such as a PDF guide, uh, you can manipulate graphics in there. You can actually do very nice typography. You have access to all the Google fonts as well. So you can bring whatever font in or bring up whatever font and manipulate that and um, do some really cool effects inside it and create something looking very professional. So um, this is something that I would normally do in, let's say, um, Adobe Illustrator or inside Photoshop. And um, I must say that the presentation app is a really um, easy tool to use and it made for a very good experience without having all the distractions um, that the heavy lifting app like um, what the Adobe suite had to offer. So this is something that you can look into if you're looking to produce ebooks or uh, PDF guides or anything of that nature. Google Calendar is one of the apps that a lot of people use without even realizing that, you know, it is such a powerful tool. Um, I use it to organize my day-to-day -day activities, my personal life, as well as I can use it to time block um, sections of my day or my week to dedicate towards things such as writing content or doing some kind of other productivity work for my um content creation. So this is something that you can look into to help you to block out that time, knowing that, you know what, on this day, I'm going to work on this thing between this time and this time. It keeps you um, accountable 
and it makes sure that you know where exactly you need to be um, at a given point in time. So Google Calendar is something that is probably underused by a lot of people, but it's a free tool that has lots of um, options in there for you to really um, run a, a very tight operation. Now, if you write articles or scripts, Google Docs, their word processor is a very useful tool for doing that. It's a fully fledged word processor, except it's obviously on the Google uh, cloud system. So you can collaborate with other people by having them uh, type and edit the document whilst you're working on it live. And um, it has a really good system behind the scenes to make sure that everything is organized in such a way and it's done in an efficient way. So that's a really good way to um, write all your content for, let's say you're going to present a video or write a blog post. You can, first of all, do all the, uh, the rough work inside Google Docs. Once you've done your editing, you can always just copy and paste that inside your blog post or you can um, print that off and have it as a script for your video if that's what you're producing. Now OneNote is one of my favorite apps and this is from Microsoft. This is similar to if you have a Google account. If you also have a Microsoft account, you have access to OneNote. You also have access to the OneDrive, which is also giving you free storage uh, that you can access wherever. I don't use that so much, but OneNote is something that I use on a daily basis. I've been using it for the last couple of years, and I must say, and I must say that it has come a far away with the updates and the things that you're able to do inside it. This is an alternative to something like Evernote, which is a note-taking app, and you're able to pretty much um, organize uh, your notes in such a way that is very easy to find. It's searchable. And it allows you to do some things such as word processing as well. So um, a lot of the things that you would do inside a word processor, such as uh, manipulating your typography and doing your layouts in a certain way, you have a lot of those exact same options inside OneNote. Now, the crucial thing for me with OneNote is the organization features in the sense, in the sense that it allows you to have separate uh, notebooks and you, within those notebooks, you have sections and within those sections, you have pages. So you can get very granular and very um, careful with how you organize your content. Now, some of the things that I use it to do is I have my to do list on there, which allows me to prioritize the things that I need to do. I also have ideas for things that I want to do, such as videos to produce. I have some little notes on that with topics and so on that I want to discuss in future and also things to do on my website or things to do for somebody else. I have everything listed out in there. So it's something that I, is very, very useful to me at the moment. And the great thing is that it's available on pretty much all platforms, all the major platforms out there as well, as I mentioned with the Google um, apps as well. It's a similar, it's a similar kind of situation. And um, it's been working for me so far. So I would say check out OneNote. This is something that is hopefully going to be useful to you as well. So the last one on my list here is Audacity. Audacity is an audio manipulator. It is an audio recorder. It's an audio editor. So if you're doing things like podcasts or you're doing dual system audio or you are doing voiceovers, this is very useful for you. So you can add effects, you can um, make sure that your audio is cleaned up, remove background noise, all that sort of thing. One thing to note though is that Audacity is a destructive editor. So whatever things you do within the um, file, it is not reversible. So if you add effects, it's not like it's adding it on a separate layer that you can then remove it. You have everything there working live on that file. So that's the only downside that I see with it. However, it is still a very good free tool to use. I still have it installed on my machine, even though I don't use it so much now because I have a more sophisticated software uh, in the sense that I have a multi-track um, music production software that I also use to edit my audio in. Um, I use specifically Ableton Live and I use Logic. I have access to those two. So I tend to use them um, as it might be a little bit easier and a bit more flexible to use them. But Audacity as a free tool is something that you should really look into if you don't want to spend a lot of money 
on some other type of software, you can work out a workflow that works for you and have really decent audio coming out of Audacity. So um, that's something that I would recommend for you to also check out. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. This is something that I wanted to present as the things that I use on a regular basis. I know there are going to be other tools out there that lots of people use that I don't know about or um, I haven't mentioned please feel free, leave a comment in the this video here to tell me about the tools that you use and how you use them. And uh, maybe I can get some pointers from that as well and pick something up new that I wasn't aware of before. I'm gonna do some more in-depth videos on some of these tools to show you how I use them to help me with my content creation and to organize myself in general. So if you wanna see those videos, just do me a favor and hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on them in future. Hopefully I'll make those videos soon. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Speak to you soon. Take care.